Now, I know it's season one reloaded right around the corner. It's a bit early to talk about season two, and I agree, mostly. Instead, today I wanted to take a glance at the relative future for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 and take a look at what we know is upcoming and how the season one reloaded offering shifts the timetable back of some things that are other upcoming content releases from Modern Warfare 2. Some things back to season two and while hopefully not, perhaps even beyond the launch of season two. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below. Is there anything in particular you're bummed out that we won't be seeing come season one reloaded and the rest of the season one window or so it seems. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, you have found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up there with all things My Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. With Season 1 Reloaded upcoming, we've got a lot more to talk about in between the update itself. We'll have a bunch of new things in regards to guides, tutorials, and other stuff here that I think you guys won't want to miss. So if you guys are interested, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market. They're a great stocking stuff for gift, but more on them in a bit. For now, let's talk about the future for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, and a little further out than just season one reloaded so we got some cool stuff coming to season one reloaded sure perhaps not as much as we maybe would have initially hoped but some cool stuff no less a new raid for premium owners those that own modern warfare 2 with rewards along the way and encouraging multiple completions the return of shipment that will be great for camo grinders and leveling in modern warfare 2's multiplayer new operators which are rather inconsequential but one of those it's pretty cool that we'll see them unlockable via in-game challenge as opposed to just in the shop for once and then we'll see dmz getting a brand new location which makes it sound like it's not part of Al Mazra, but part of DMZ. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to work out and learn more about that. But beyond that, again, not a whole ton from now until February 1st in that tentative season two launch date. One of the more disappointing parts, if you were hoping for some surprise additions, was the fact that we didn't get a new roadmap or anything that debuted larger plans for further content beyond what we had already known about since the launch of season one, whether that be maps, weapons, modes, etc. But one of the biggest things that's still stuck in limbo as a result of this is ranked play. And that's where we're going to start. Introduced with season one, we saw the delayed rollout of the CDL mosh pit. Some fixes actually still are needing to be rolled out. So ranked play was that end goal, which many thought would be a part of season one at some point, perhaps in that second half, again, maybe as a surprise content addition. But by all indications, this seems to be something now that's relegated to season two and perhaps beyond. This will be that last main sort of pillar of Modern Warfare 2, seemingly. I mean, we have multiplayer, campaign, and spec ops, all of those introduced at the launch of the game. Warzone and DMZ, all introduced at the start of Season 1. Raids with Season 1 reloaded upcoming, and perhaps Season 2 introducing the final main large mode of the game, ranked play. Now, from the beginning, we knew that we wouldn't be seeing ranked play at launch, and it was later confirmed by Treyarch that we'd be seeing it in 2023. And with an earlier start to the CDL season this year, there was that hope and potential that we'd see it maybe on the latter half of season one, since that was technically still 2023 when we see a lot of this go into effect. Again, February 1st is that season two launch date. So you have that entire month of January that you could technically work with. But without its inclusion, now that we've seen the preview of season one reloaded and beyond, while I'm not expecting it to be as far out of releases like May or June's introduction, something so far out to the point of season two, the uncertainty of the time frame is a little, I don't know if disheartening is the word, not entirely sure, but the upside to this not being tethered with season one is that it does give us at least a little bit of a pinpoint on where we can expect it next, because I'd almost imagine that it launches with season two, no later than season two reloaded since, well, historically, we've seen this time frame introduce ranked play as of recent years. The last game to have ranked play earlier than a February release was Odd World War II, which launched on November 30th of 2017. And if you want to go a step further, when was Ranked Play released earlier than that? Well, the last time we saw a game launch with Ranked Play was Black Ops 3 in 2015. Feel old yet? But anyways, Vanguard's Ranked Play launched in beta for Season 2 on February 17th. Cold War's Ranked Play launched on February 8th, still technically in that Season 1 timeframe, but Cold War Season 2 had a later rollout than others, thanks to a few delays here, just like Modern Warfare 2019 did. But also, Modern Warfare 2019 didn't have a Ranked Play, which I always found odd given that Modern Warfare 2019 was the game that founded and introduced the Call of Duty League, the league that is fully Activision sanctioned and owned, so it was odd to me that the game had zero competitive support at the core, but regardless, finally Black Ops 4 ranked play didn't come until February 21st. So at least in theory, we should have our timetable nailed down to the beginning of season two. So while we may know when this is coming, my only hope is that this doesn't lose too much steam too early on. One of the things I really enjoyed from a complete outside perspective, not really having any skin in the game other than to when in my partnership with the CDL that I talk about the CDL a little bit earlier than previous years this year, getting that competitive side out there when viewership and interest is at its highest is the best way I think to grow that scene and offer the most potential to it and what would also be ranked play. Holding ranked play off to let other areas of content breathe on paper may be a good idea there to not inundate or overwhelm players, 
but I also think that holding a launch going on four months after launch of the game, if it's not right at that seasonal launch, doesn't really help the case much in regards to keeping it thriving. So that's my only hope here. It seems like season two may be that new sort of target that at least this time has some historical backing behind it. Now, that also doesn't account for a couple of other things we've talked about here and proposed on the channel. Things like ground war maps. We haven't seen a new one introduced since launch here at this with season one now and season one reloaded upcoming. It doesn't look like we'll get a new one here as of that update. So we're still going on a little bit longer of a wait for those that love ground war 6v6 maps of course still going to be coming gunfight is still that big question mark that again while infinity ward has never officially mentioned gunfight it was mentioned back in june in our early briefings that it would be coming sometime after launch but when after launch i mean it doesn't seem like knockout is really that big of a hit in terms of the mp modes it doesn't seem like prisoner rescue is again that big of a hit in the mp modes maybe i'm entirely missing out on something and maybe i'm not looking in the right places but it seems like those modes a little bit more niche whereas gunfight has a bit more of that staying power and of course as we mentioned the last time when we talked about gunfight a lot of you guys really expressed your love for gunfight so it seems like it's definitely there so to hold it back and not introduce it would be rather odd now of course those are the bigger introductions here that are still upcoming that we have no indication on timetable but Again, if it's not Season 1 Reloaded, Season 2 is the next logical thing. They're not going to just drop a major title update, again, out of the blue here like that. We likely see some promotion already, but regardless, that's kind of where I'm at with that. And of course, then you add that in on top of the other leaks that we talked about as of recently. Ralph's Valve indicating that Ronan would be the operator coming to Season 2, returning from Modern Warfare 2019. That we'd, for some reason, see Castle returning as a Modern Warfare 2 map, as opposed to, well, that was from World at War, and then most recently Vanguard. So, odd that we see that crossover here from different IP into Modern Warfare 2, but seemingly also what we may be seeing with Season 2. And while it's something that's much larger and they still may not want to take away from Almazra and the base of Warzone 2, there's also that rumor then of a new Resurgence map at some point. Whether that's Season 2, I kind of think that might be a little bit beyond. Season 2 Reloaded, maybe Season 3, but anyways, there's still a decent amount of things up on deck that right now, without them being showcased in Season 1 Reloaded, shifts that target a little bit. So that said, that's what we're going to call it. But before we wrap everything up, or a quick reminder, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage who provide the best blue-like glasses on the market. I've said it time and time again, these guys are an integral part to my daily productivity. Having worked with them for nearly two years now, I'll still rave about these guys. I use them every single day. And having used pairs off Amazon before, these are head and shoulders above anything you can find out there. Working at my desk, looking at my monitor for 10 plus hours a day, it starts to drain you, and I definitely have noticed a difference with the pairs that I've picked up from Gamer Advantage. If you'd like a great stocking stuff or gift, they're a phenomenal pickup for either you or someone you know who looks at a monitor, TV, or just any sort of screen for prolonged periods of time a day. If you'd like to check the science, the clinical studies, and all that kind of stuff out to gain more information, links in the description below, but if you'd like to pick something up for yourself, code ESPRESSO can get your 10% off your order. That said, that's what we're going to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to ranked play? Any of these other things like maybe new ground war maps or gunfight coming potentially in the future whatever the case drop your thoughts below but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single finger in all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and anything cod related for now thanks so much for watching modern espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace